What's up guys? This is the Rifeman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War. Let's play as the Ottoman Empire. So to pick up where we left off, our Operation Sea Lion has gone incredibly well and we are laying siege to the capital of Edinburgh and we are going to storm it and bring it into the greater Ottoman Empire. So let's destroy them. Soon we will be absolute masters of Europe. We will have troops sh uh, sailing over to the Americas to destroy the former British colonies. We are building up our troops on our on the front against the Mughal Empire. Things are going really well. I think that's just the best way to sum it up. Uh, but the enemy do have considerable forces in this city and they are not weak. So I may deploy my guns like so, with an attempt, with an idea of making two breaches. Just drop my howitzers here. If we're making two breaches, I'll probably want four Nizam two per breach with my lights. So let's combine them together. Same with the cavalry. Then to go over the wall. Oh, no, sorry. We have, a, we have a much slimmed down contingent, so we do need to be careful. These guys aren't hidden. Now they are. Good stuff. We've got a general to the center. Howitzers. Howitzers dropping. Quick climb. Okay, let's start. Make a breach. Oh no! They're sallying! I'm a goon! I'm a real goon. I'm an idiot. <laughs> I'm such an idiot. How many of you guys are there going, No! You're not attacking! You're not attacking! Oh well. Surprise, cavalry! Who would have thought to see this big block of troops come out? Lancers, 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 lancers. So let's deploy these guys like so. You guys all shoot at the enemy forces in the field. Uh, where's my cavalry? Let's deploy you guys over here. Because we do need to hit some of these cavalrymen. Especially as these guys now need to leg it. Well, most of them. Actually, they, they can leg it to here and they can assault the... Uh, they can assault the town. Good. Get some good quick climb hits, please. No, why are you firing ground shot? Nuts. Okay, Daddy Horseman, you get in there. Start shooting the horses out from under their feet. Fire a volley. Now run. You guys form a square. guys you guys hit that unit there you guys hit that unit of lancers there surprise lancer guards so my sapahi are going to do a good a real number on their troops my cavalry all the all the all this cavalry is to do is stay strong these Janissaries scale the wall. Those Grenadiers scale the wall. The 
mounted guards are beating my daddy horsemen. Start to try and kill the enemy coming in. My Sipahi are, are really well armoured, so. You men push up to try and engage those cavalrymen. My hand mortars actually get up here. So you blast in those troops with square with a um, canister. Let's run my hand mortars up here. That's where they might be more useful. Daddy horsemen are not happy with the current state of affairs. These guys need to fire forward. Do you guys halt fire? Run the hand mortars up, run the... Go on, men, you guys engage! First volley. Second volley. These grenadiers, get over here. You men, run down those artillery there. You guys charge into the garrison guards. Oh, my blunderbuss hand mortars are doing a real number on the horse grenadier guards. These Swiss pikes are charging, but they're getting massacred. Oh no, they've changed their mind. So you guys need to reload and you're going to hit the Grenadiers. Actually, let's get you over here. Now you're going to take out the artillery. The men on this flank have been knocked out, although it looks like they've attempted to hit our artillery but they're gonna get okay, you get to run my gunners away let's keep running you guys let's actually run my Nizam into the grenade guard battle here Look, these guys are they're determined to get my gunners. Get these men organized. Yeah, my hand mortars aren't very happy. See there, they're after my guns. My gun, my my artillery crew is so massive, and these guys aren't actually. I don't know why you guys have abandoned the fight. There we go. So the cavalry did charge in and do some bad things to us. Smash into the side of the engineers. I mean, I know I've charged my Sipahi into pikemen, but if they fall quick enough, it shouldn't matter. And who are you? Swiss guards. I 
And there we go. And so Pahi have had enough. Again, understandable. I mean, his ammo are enough to probably win that fight there. Who are you? Swiss Grenadiers. So these Swiss guards are wavering. Yeah, hit the general, Nizam. You're good enough to hit him. You guys run over to here. You men push up. Oh no, they've also routed. Everyone's routing, except the general. Oh no. Eh, could continue it, but let's close the book on that rather chaotic battle for now. <laughs> yeah, so even though we're in the t we were in the city, it doesn't count as us taking it because, you know, it, it, we were being sallied out at... Spanish men are, Spanish troops are on the move. So I want to leave Savoy till the end so I can declare on them and then then I uh, then I'll I'll either well, either will or won't be at war with the Mughal Empire. I mean I'm not at war with them now. So if I take Spain, those armies should teleport away and go back to back to mainland India. Got another Hashashin, so let's send this Hashashin off to Pujain. Okay, mines upgrade. Common roads upgrade. Can you guys now leave Norway? Yes. Get to Bergen where you will be picked up by one of the sloops and then deployed somewhere else. So London's coming around to us. We've got Dublin. We are going to take Ireland, although to be honest we have just kind of... How much to auto that? Because they're all very depleted. We fought that battle. Let's repair all the stuff we got. Punish our men. It's also... So what did we run out of back here? Ah, my Sapahi have died. Very well. We'll recruit some more. Uh, but if we fight up here against Iceland, then that will be the end of the British. It means we don't have to fight this fort force down here at Hoffen. But first, let's go do a bit more building. Need Damascus, just keep upgrading your production capacity. Oh, that's a lot of stuff that's been built. But most of it's actually top tier, so not as much of a problem. Go, Porto, grade. Let's put a steam powered mill. Military Academy and a Naval College. Wineries in Bordeaux. Let's upgrade the farm to a palatial state. How are your roads doing? They need fixing. Let's upgrade this. Okay, so you are going to embark as are all these agents and this sloop is carrying a very precious cargo so let's sell over to Alexandria and let's swap our ships let's actually pick up an upgrade here at Syracuse and upgrade the Madrasa so now you guys can disembark so you men march to 
Basra. And the agents pretty much infiltrate the entire Indian continent. So let's make sure all of the the regions are covered. Good. Fleet arrives. So more Ottoman troops for the exploitation of the greater Ottoman American Empire. But I'm sorry, everyone. I'm going to have to take just a quick break. Just a second. And he's back. Right. So what I want to do, I think, is because Britain is about to be destroyed, it would be smart to hit Quebec. My first instinct was to hit Newfoundland. But if I go for Quebec... If I go for Quebec, then I can at least capture the city. I mean, there's an army here. So if I say take this wee sloop, say that here, in theory, these guys shouldn't cross. It's a bit weird they chose to land here when they could have landed in uh, this fishery and then marched south to Quebec, but whatever. It does mean we need to hold off on attacking uh, the Brits here for one more turn, although they can hold out for two turns, so you might actually sally. We've researched cheap metal cartridges, which means Kayseri. You, my friend, no longer have a need for a university, so all these agents can move over to mainland Europe. in order to try and support the last bit of research we're doing in Skopje. Skopje, Skopje. Doesn't know Antonio should be a lot less unhappy with us now. And we'll need to keep fewer men as a garrison. Workers are on strike in the Rhineland. Not anymore, they're not. Although they're going to be a bit unhappy with the industrialization. So let's build some Semini. Let's so we're converting the people of Amsterdam. Minus three, so one more turn and you'll be happy with us. You're over here at Brest, so let's take take these sloops out. Take you, embark the army. Sail over to the Americas. Let's build a madrasa here in Dublin. We own Gibraltar, so it's put a base mansion. Let's make sure we're replenishing our men. Can we hit Morocco? Morocco is also a ally of the Mughals, so they will likely cause problems. Um, but do we assault Madrid? If we assault Madrid, Spain is gone from the game as well. Which means lots of these islands will become pirate owned which gives us lots of good targets new spain will probably still exist as new spain she's put a sugar plantation to get some more resources on some more resources on the table let's actually build a fort here good okay so we're going to take out the spanish dogs all right let's do this let's take out madrid those Mughal armies should teleport back to the uh, to the Mughal Empire in India. And then we're going to be in a pretty good place, I think. I think we're going to be in a very good place. I mean, I, 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 am, I imagine New Spain stays as New Spain. The same way as the 13 colonies would probably stay as Britain. Or will stay as the 13 colonies after Britain's destroyed. So let's attack from the right. So we'll start to make breaches from the right, at least. Good. Keep cavalry here. So my Janissaries, my Felaheen, and two units of infantry. Start over here, and then they're going to march up to the right. 
then we've got two... Ah. Ah, that's okay. But you need Janissaries and two units of Minizam rifles. Which look pretty dope. I mean, they look, they look quite similar to the actual regular infantry, except they've got slightly longer rifles. And I've also got some Delhi horsemen back here. Good. Turn fire off. You guys are firing quick climb. Sweet. So you guys crack open the city. And these guys fire on the men at the front. My assault forces march your way around. Infant Spanish Regimento de Infanteria in Memorial del Rey has got annihilated. Expat infantry that's not using fire. Well, Irish regiment that looks pretty cool. Guard engineers, Swiss line, fusiliers, infantry de la Marina, more Irish, the Walloon guards. They're pretty good. But right now, we are simply cracking open the city. Although it looks like our artillery wants to be, it wants to play silly buggers. Quick Loam's coming in and it's annihilating the gunners at the front of the fort. Soon they will likely change targets and start to go after some of these tastier infantry covering this gatehouse. But only after they've made a practicable a practical breach. 84% damaged and we're in. So then they're going to work on maybe this section here. He's shooting at us. That's optimistic. Okay, you work on the Swiss line. You guys start dropping some right here. Because that will do a terrific amount of damage to the enemy troops. So I want to see that shot come in when they're ready. The men are still pushing up on the right flank. That's the other unit. Okay, here we go. The two shells are coming in hot. Oh, yes. So this unit lost half its infantry. The Walloon guards are down to 36 men. Beautiful. Okay, so... My normal troops start to push up. You guys, you're working on... You may as well work on that, to be honest. One of you work on the Swiss infantry here. One of you work on the garrison militia covering the gate. Because we are about to start our... Actually, you might be better off hitting those guys. Because this could be about to get a bit bloody. Yeah, that's gutted that infantry regiment. Some citizenry. They got a lot of stuff hidden at the back. Well, not hidden, but it's at the back of the fort, so it's not as easy to get hold of. Maybe folks fire the Swiss line. Might be a good idea to thin them out before we commence our assault. The Swiss line's pretty good infantry.
They're actually reloading the cannons. Pity his hands clipping into the barrel, but whatever. The old artillery was kind of meant to be shooting at it to make sure they uh, to try and destroy the cannons actually on the wall. But okay, quick line coming in. Good amount of damage. If we do this, it des it destroys the uh, the cannons. shoot my cavalry with their artillery. Okay, now Maidland, now's the time. Send the men into the fort. Send these Nizam to climb the wall over here. You guys can engage them at range. You guys climb, you guys climb. These grenadiers hunker down outside the gate. Same with these Janissary Musketeers. It looks like they want to be... Let's get the Feline up on the wall. Cavalry in here as well. So let's get a unit. Get in the art. Can I get my Janissary Musketeers in the armory? These guys run and secure the firing position there. I don't quite know where these guys are deciding to go. Because there's no way in here. Well, there is, because they've left it open, but... Howitzers bombard the militia up here with quicklime. I mean, you guys may as well storm the gate if they're going to let you do it. Horsemen get in. There we go. All my cavalry charge in. There we go. So we've got a big cavalry battle over the front. My Janissaries are pushing in through the centre. My Feline are fighting the Janissaries. You guys will fire it well off, that's for darn sure. The Yusipang actually charge the rear over here. We're shooting at them from the armory. Send those guys to go hit the militia. Let's turn my turn my uh, turn my troops fire it well off. The Irish regiment, it says they're winning, but these Feline, the Fusiliers, they're the same, it says they're winning, but they're very squishy. Okay, let's get you off the walls as well. So the Swiss line are dying to our cavalry at the front. You're okay to keep, keep attacking. Expats are up on the wall. 
we're starting to cut through the fusiliers. These light horse are attempting to attack us. It's not going to work. We've got these Spanish surrounded in the gate. I might pull my spay out because it looks like they're losing men fairly unneed needlessly there. cavalry into sensor actually might get these guys into the got some grenadiers and some marines in here as well our men are making headway through the okay I might rather than have these guys shooting I might actually get them to charge out and attack the enemy. The Fusiliers are upset, again as they should be because they are attacking melee infantry and if there's one thing Fusiliers are not as good at doing, it's the melee fight. Really we need to get over here and support the uh, support the infantry trying to scale the walls against the Irish regiment. Come on, you lads. This Pahi have finally fallen. We really need to get this fellow in over here and take the wall. So if I take the wall and these units. All these units up here can be useful to help try to uh, secure the rest. Alright, if you guys can't actually get in, just run through the combat. Let the Janissary Grenadiers fight it out. Janissary Musketeers are fighting off against fighting the Marines, some engineers. My other cavalry is routing. My other infantry is upset. You guys climb the wall here. So if we can knock out... Well, to be honest, the red, that regiment's knocked out already. Let's get... Let's get some of these men off the wall. Lost another Nizam unit. That's the one that was holding the flank over there. Janissary Musketeers can't get in. But there we go. So we've broken the back of the fight against this Bastion over here. So right now this last unit of Feline, you take them on. Everyone else get down here. Janissary Grenadiers line up and begin shooting. Feline just charge in. You men line up like so. Bring in my general. You guys hit the Regimento in Memorial del Rey. You knock out those men. You guys chase down the Wallium guards. You men charge the armed citizenry. The Grenadiers should win against these men because there's only 10 of them. I mean, you kill that one guy, there's one of them. good. Everyone get in. You men run around the rear. Bring down my fellow in. There we 
We charge the enemy here. Huzzah! Let's bring my general in just to provide some support. Let's get these guys to stop firing and instead get them to run off the wall. You guys charge those infantry. You men charge into the center. Actually, you guys... You men probably charge in. There we go. In come the Fellaine. They're going to cut down the Swiss Grenadiers. It's probably not make my uh, general too much of a target and it's probably just run my light infantry over to hold the square there we go you men charge in got a lovely mess of bodies down here Second light foot. So they're fighting pretty well. Nope. Guard mode on. Don't do anything silly. New man hit the Marines. So it looks like they are doing an alright job at resisting. You guys also turn around and fight the Marines. Ah, expats. Hit the 13th. Let's take out the last of those men. We have to start knocking, the, knocking these units that are weak actually out so we can so we can do the good stuff you guys go back and hit them you hit those Swiss Grenadiers the Fellaine are, are routing Actually, losing this fight, maybe. Those grenadiers fight the Swiss line, kill them. Actually, no, you kill that Swiss grenadier unit. Let's make sure my general doesn't die here. Let's kill that last grenadier. Good, I'll go fight that unit of Swiss line. So we've got a bunch of guys here fighting these fighting these expats. Start to isolate and destroy these remaining units. You should kill the last of these. Swiss infantry they've routed okay there we go finally it was actually a, it was a bit dodgy for a while there but we did finally knock them out <laughs> so there goes the great Spanish Empire consigned to the history books and it looks like they need probably a, a uh, maybe a regular line unit, actually. But Spain is ours, and m these units over here should, when they, when it's chewed on it enough. There we go. They've gone. So let's destroy the seminary. Destroy the university. Destroy the seminary. Repair the port. 
repair. Let's get a couple of sloops just to act as guardians. May as well upgrade the pleasure gardens. Let's do a whole bunch of economy upgrades here in Madrid. Let's fix the buildings here. We do not need this Hushashin anymore, so this Hushashin can move down here. Can this army leave Gibraltar? It can. So they are going to uh, be shipped over to the Americas as well. This fleet can now take position here in Sandy Bay in Gibraltar. You can build. Oh, you can't get better roads. I mean, they hate us, but once we get the university knocked down, then they'll love us. So what's happened in the Americas? Cuba has become owned by the pirates. That looks like it. This army, what well, it's being re it's being re reinforced, so it, well, it definitely won't be able to leave Antigua because they really don't like don't like us there. Let's hit in turn. Let's keep our front line marching on. Yeah, <laughs> go on, Bren. Take out my Zebek. It will do nothing else for you. Sloop versus a Brazé. Brazé. Ah, damn. You've got to think both of our sloops ended up being captured, but that's okay. Ooh, we're being sallied at. Excellent. What we're going to do is, well, looking at the timer, I think it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for this fight outside the last remaining British city. See you in a second, everyone.